Welcome back to Montana this morning. The time is 626 this morning. We welcome Senator John Tester onto the set with us, who is actually here. Um, first of all, welcome. Happy yeah, to have you here. You. <laughs> to Trying to get right down to business here, but let's talk about country of origin labeling. That's yeah. actually why you're in Billings today. What's happening today? So we're, we're going to, we're dropping in a bill, a bipartisan bill, uh, uh, Senators Thune and Rounds out of South Dakota and Senator uh, Booker out of New Jersey and myself are dropping in a bill to make country of origin labeling uh, mandatory for beef in the United States. Now, why this is important is because we happen to raise the best beef in the world, and that's not brag, that is fact. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a real opportunity for consumers to be able to make a choice what they want to feed their family. You know, when I, when I go buy a, a combine rim as a prime example, because I just replaced one, it will have on it what country it's made in, whether it's a product of Canada or Mexico or the United States, whatever it might be. I, I go in the grocery store to look at the hamburger or T-bone steaks or whatever it might be, and there's nothing. There's a USDA seal on it, which makes people think it's a product of the United States, but it's really not. It's just inspected by the United States Department of Agriculture. Mm -hmm. So what this bill will do will make it mandatory for uh, our beef to be labeled in the grocery store as product of U of USA, if it is, and if it's not, it won't be marked with anything. And a good sign is this is getting bipartisan support, but what challenge is yet to come that you have to prove that this will work? Yep, this one's different in the past one because number one, it's mandatory and we do have bipartisan support. Uh, I've been working on this issue since the state legislature days and uh, the reason we haven't been able to, to get it to a point where it's re always, you know, so it'll pass is we don't have bipartisan support. The big challenge is an organization called WTO, World Trade Organization. And if, if, for example, and this happened last time, Canada says, we think this is, gives you an unfair trade advantage, then that puts all our trade at risk. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to make sure it's WTO compliant, World Trade Association uh, uh, Organization appliant, uh, compliant, and that that can be done. We just need to make sure that we're able to do that. And then we need to make sure that once we get this passed, and I think we will get it passed, that uh, the administration fights uh, in court, if it uh, does end up in court, to make sure that it meets the standards. So um, we've got a lot of work to do yet. Uh, we're at the beginning of this process, mm -hmm. uh, but nonetheless, I'm very, very hopeful we can get this across the line. I think it's good for the, the ranchers, good for the cow-calf guys, I think it's good for the feeders, and I think it's really good for the consumers. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, it's been a hot topic of conversation, and it sounds like the conversation will just continue on. We'll be here to follow it. All thank right, you. Senator Tester, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate it, and uh, we'll be right back after this break.